Hello, it's Cole from Hook Agency. Today we're talking about local business schema, what it is and how to use it on your website. So schema is code that gets put on the back end of your website and it gives search engines more information about what's on the page. Um, so, and in turn doing that, it shows better, more informative and robust search results for your business in Google. So I'm going to show you how to implement it and uh, I'm going to show you a couple different ways and yeah, let's get started. Okay, here we are on the back end of our WordPress website. This will be a more WordPress focused tutorial and I will give a shout out later to a little bit more of a technical way to implement schema. So I'm going to use my favorite SEO plugin called Rank Math. So this is a general SEO plugin, does all the things you need as far as SEO goes, all in kind of one plugin. I highly recommend it. Um, so I just went to, to plugins, search rank math. Here it is right here. We already have it installed, so I'll go over here. Where is it at? Rank math right here. I'm going to go to titles and meta. And they do have a really good setup wizard. So when you do set this up from scratch, it'll walk you through these steps. But once you go to titles and meta, you'll go to local SEO. And in here is a ton of information that we're gonna fill in to give that schema to search engines and just providing as much information as we can to serve up better results. So whether you're a single person or a company, typically we'll be choosing organization, put in your company name and logo, URL, email address, address, you know, business type. There's all kinds of business, business types in here that Rank Math provides you, which is great. Just a large amount of different schema types of business that you can select there. Put in your hours. Again, we want to give as much information as possible to search engines. So fill in every single um, form that you can. Put in our about page, contact page. And this is really cool. You can put in Google Maps API key as well as geo coordinates. So that's really giving Google a lot of good information about where you're located, which is great. Now that that is set up, we can go into posts. And any post will now have that rank math plugin implemented. So you can go down, find out where your rank math plugin is located. Then we're going to go over to schema. Go over to the schema tab and then just make sure the schema is correct on whether it's an article, you're going to click article, but there's all kinds of different schema types in here. So if this is an article, you know, showcasing a product, we're going to click product. If, if you have a cooking website, it's going to be a recipe or a restaurant. If it's a video page, click video. Um, so Rank Math gives us a lot of good options for schema in here. It's going to pull in your title and description automatically. But you can, if you want, to put in something custom, you can put that in there. So that's my favorite, easiest way of implementing schema on your website. If you are more technical, you can go to schema.org. This is owned by Google. This is more if you're you know, into development or the more technical side of websites. Click schema there, and it's giving you these commonly used schema types. You can go to local business, and it's just showing you what to enter in the code to add schema to your website. If you scroll down, it gives a really good example of what the back end of a website looks without schema and microdata. And then with microdata, look how much more information that search engines are seeing with schema. 
Another really cool tool is Structured Data Testing Tool. So this is a free tool from Google. You can go ahead and put your URL in there, run the test, and Google will spit out what kind of schema you have on your website. If there are any errors or warnings, it'll tell you here. And this is a really good tool for testing the, the schema that's already on your website. I hope that was helpful. You should be using schema on your website because it will help you get found online. Thanks for watching.